I'm Anil Kumar. We'll discuss combination of letters for the word Mississippi in this particular video. So we'll look into three types of questions. The first one here is find the number of arrangements of the letters in Mississippi. Right? That's straightforward. And then we have a conditional statement which says find the number of arrangements where S's are together. In Mississippi, there are four S's. We want all of them to be together. And the last one here is, find the number of arrangements where S's are separate. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, these are based on permutations and combinations. And uh, uh, you may have to review some concepts since uh, I will not really get into the very basics, right? <clears throat> okay. The first one, find the number of arrangements of the letters in Mississippi. So what we do is we just count how many letters are there. In Mississippi, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters. So let's write down. We have 11 letters. Okay. Then we look for more than one which are repeated eyes so eyes are repeated how many eyes one two three four then s we have four s and we have two p's now this is a very special word which we always talk about when we have this kind of a question right 11 letters two eyes four s's and two p's now we need to find the number of arrangements for all these letters. So the answer is, <clears throat> as most of you know, 11 factorial total combinations divided by how many are of the same kind? 4 of i's, so divided by 4 factorial, 4 s's, 4 factorial, 2 p's, 2 factorial, correct? Uh, and you get your answer. So that's the first answer. So we have 11 factorial divided by, within brackets, let's say 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial, right? Bracket close, equal to, the answer is 34,650. Correct. The next one here is, Find the number of arrangements where S's are together. Now that's kind of tricky. What do we do for doing or solving such questions? Now when we want to put S's together, we rearrange so that we take away these S's. So and group them together. So these are the four S's. So let's write down the word once again. And this time, let's put S's together, four S's. And let's take them to occupy one space. The rest of the letters are M, I, let me write down. M, then we have one, two, three I's, one, two, three I's, two P's. You could have written four together anyway. These are the other letters. We want all S's to be together. So think as if this is one particular group, right? All S's. So what do we have here? Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 letters. Do you see we have 8 letters? We are considering this to be one group. So one letter, S. Out of which 4 are I's and two are P's, right? So how many words can you form? Meaningful or meaningless? Well, the words will be, since there are total eight letters, eight factorial divided by four factorial for the I's and two factorial for P's, correct? So let's figure this out. We have eight factorial <coughs> divided by, within brackets, 4 factorial times 2 factorial equals to 
840. Perfect. So we get 840 arrangements of these letters in which these S's, all of them, are together. The main idea of this video is to answer the last question, which is, find the number of arrangements where S's are separate. Now that's very tricky. Uh, many times I have seen students uh, answering like this. Total number of commissions 34650. S's together 840. You take away 840 from 34650 to give an answer here. Well, that is going to be wrong, incorrect. Reason is, it says find the number of arrangements where S's are separate. Try to understand. S's are separate means we cannot have remember this we cannot have I mean have uh, two S's or three S's do you see that or four S's now if you do 340 650 minus 840 what you get is which excludes four S's together do you see that it doesn't take care of uh, other cases and if you try to solve it using cases, it is going to be kind of tricky, very difficult. So for such questions, we'll adopt a different method, right? So we have an alternate way to do it. Let's call it an alternate method, which I'll take up now. So I hope you've understood the idea of this video. These are very common questions. Find the number of arrangements of letters in Mississippi, straightforward. Find the number of arrangements where S's are together, club them, and get your answer. But the real question here is, find the number of arrangements where S's are separate, right? So let's see how to do such questions, correct? Now, <laughs> so let's look into... Uh, our third question which is a major question for this particular video it says find the number of arrangements of the letter in the word Mississippi where S's are separate so what we do here is that we take away these S's so these are our four S's we take them away from the word in that case what are we left with we are left with M I the next I, another I, double P, and I. So we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So we are left with 7 letters. Now the idea is, how many words can you make with these 7 letters, right? So how many words with 7 letters? So now we'll find words with seven letters now what you also observe here is that we have got four i's in which we have four i's and two p's so the method you know for seven letters seven factorial divided by repetition of i's four times and for p's two so that gives you the total number of words which can be made using M-I-I-I-P-P-I, -I -I -I, right? That is excluding these S's. Let's calculate this value. 7 factorial divided by, within brackets, 4 factorial times 2 factorial. And that gives you 105. Okay. So you can make 105 words using these. Now what we do is, we insert these S's separately so that none of them is together. That's the whole idea. Where could you insert? You could start with an S. You could insert one here, one there. So these are the gaps in which you can fill up these S's. How many are these? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more than seven. Do you see that? So we have four S's to be placed in eight positions. So what we have here is 
forces to be placed in eight positions. So that gives you how many combinations, right? That gives you how many combinations? It gives us eight C4 combinations. Now these eight C4 combinations apply to all 105 combinations of the seven letters which we had talked about. So therefore, we can now write down that the number of arrangements where SSR separate are how many? Product of these two, right? So they are 105 times 8C4. That is what it is. So let's calculate, right? So we'll do 105 times 8C4. And that is 7350. So there are 7,350 arrangements which you can make with the word Mississippi where S's are all separate. Do you get an idea, right? So that is how such questions can be answered. I hope that helps. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.